Get your hooks in. Good, good. Welcome to the video. It's gonna be our second competition and I'm excited to go compete. The last couple of days, I've been recovering from my LASIK surgery. As you can see, it's still kind of uh, red, a little bit bloodshot there, but that is not gonna stop us from competing. Uh, the way I look at it, uh, it's a lot better to just go out there and compete. But if you're trying to level up in your game, the more you compete, the more you actually get out there and expose yourself, the better you're gonna be in the long run. So we're gonna rep it up a little bit, fit it snap back, and I also got the, the 365, uh, polyester dry fit. Uh, we're repping tonight and we're gonna try to get that first place. Wrap it up with a win. This time I'm only gonna do no gi. This tournament, there's gonna be more people in that bracket. If you're able to win in this bracket, that means that you have pretty good game because there's people from all around, uh, all, all around Houston. If you're anxious about your first jujitsu competition, don't be. Just uh, go in there, follow the rules. Like before you get to the tournament, make sure that you got a good understanding of the rules. So you can, you know, you can use them to your advantage as far as like the weight cut, how much you have to weigh in on the day of the tournament, how the bracket is set up, uh, what's the point system. Just have a really good understanding of how the rules work so you can apply them once you're, uh, you're competing. Be prepared. Also, uh, drill as much as you can, roll, try to practice your techniques right before the tournament. And then once you get, once the actual day of the tournament, just be confident in your abilities. At that point, you know, you already done so much preparation, you, you're ready to go into the tournament and now it's just time to perform. At the point of the tournament, just be calm and face the fight without any anxiety. Face it confident in your abilities that you already, you know, you're prepared and you're ready to go. If you're new to the channel, I invite you to subscribe. Here at Conquer Mindset, we focus on different strategies to become the best versions of ourselves. We talk about personal finance, MMA, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, business, developing a warrior mindset. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel and also give us a like. It will really help out this video. And let's just prove the internet wrong. Let's prove that we can get Conquer Mindset to 10,000 subscribers by the end of this year. Let's go ahead and get to the tournament. Let's get to Humble, Texas. Pour up a drink, pour up a coffee. You're watching this in the morning. Get into the check-ins. Beautiful day for jujitsu. Meeting up with the boys. All that hard work put in training camps. Now it's time to apply it. Jumping into the weigh-ins. Officially weighing in at 165.7. All right, and we have our first matchup. My training partner, Sam, jumping into his gi match. Sam started off with some adversity, but then he started to get comfortable, started working, and he started to apply his techniques. Smooth transition here. He takes his back and he goes into a beautiful transition into an arm bar. Finishes it, gets the victory. RIP DMX, Rough Riders. RIP bro, this is gonna be for you DMX. They started playing Rough Riders and it just reminded me of DMX. I grew up watching his videos, listening to his music and he was a very inspirational, influential artist. One of my favorite artists, I remember growing up, I used to play Def Jam Vendetta on PlayStation. And DMX was one of the main characters. So, shout out to DMX. I hope he rests in paradise, rest in peace. It was very sad that he passed away, especially at a very young age, at 50. He was a very real, honest, and talented artist. Rest in peace, DMX. This one's for you. Getting some stretches in, putting some hand wraps, getting ready for the competition. One of the worst things in the world is getting cramps while you're rolling. But now it is fight time. Quick shout out to Pablo Silva. He is a legend. We jump into our first match. Time! Jumping into my first match here. As always, I always try to be aggressive. I went for the double leg takedown, got it. Started working my side control, try to get his back. I tried to snap him down, but it wasn't the best technique. Then I went for the guillotine. I secured it, got the submission, and got the victory. 
right after getting chewed out by my coach because my technique on the snap down was not the best and my coach is letting me know here I should have done put more pressure on and just snap them down and it's always great to compete because this is how you start to identify your flaws letting me know right here you know you have to put more pressure and the thing is that we drew this all the time in practice so I should have had it down Jumping into the second match, again, trying to be aggressive. I like to see what they have at the beginning, just testing out the waters. And then when I see the opportunity for the double leg takedown, I take it. That's what I did here. Start working, trying to get into a side control position, more of a dominant position. This guy has some really good defense. I was trying to go for the Toriando, pass his guard and establish side control but he was doing a very good job of keeping me off of him. Finally was able to break through, get the side control and start working. But like I mentioned, this guy was tough and he sweeped me over and I got into some trouble. Boy, that escalated quickly. I mean, that really got out of hand fast. It jumped up a notch. It did, didn't it? Yeah. And here he's trying his best to finish off that arm bar. But I had a pretty good hold on it. So I was just trying to work, trying to get out of that position. This is the position that you do not want to be in. I was trying not to let him take my back. I started working, flipped over, and was able to establish guard. Got back into his guard. Then I got into his half guard, and then I was just trying to work out of there, get into a more dominant position like side control. For the most part, I was out wrestling him, and I was racking up points with my wrestling. Like I mentioned, this guy has some really good defense. It was really tough to get through his defense. But then I went straight through, broke through it, and established side control again, racking up some more points. For the most part, just putting a lot of pressure, getting that shoulder pressure throughout the match. Was able to maintain side control and was ultimately able to win off of points, it was a really good match. My coach always letting me know where to improve. Jumping into the finals for the gold for first place. Again, trying to be very aggressive, see the opportunity, go for the single leg takedown, and then change it to a double leg takedown to finish the attack. I'm in side control. Here he had a very good grip on my neck, but I knew he didn't have anything, so I was just waiting for him to get tired. Working my side control. When I started seeing that he was getting tired and he gave me the opportunity to escape, I started working my techniques. Finally broke through. I see the opportunity to take his back. I jump on it, sink in my hooks. And then I'm trying to get that rear naked, but he's doing a very good job of defending it. He goes to his side. He does a good job, breaks it off. And then I have him in my full guard and I am ultimately able to win the fight off points.
jumping into the war ceremony, getting our medals, getting that first place, gold medal. Shout out to my teammates, my coaches, for all the hard work we put in in practice. For everyone who came out and supported us, we really appreciate it and we could not have done it without y'all. And to the competition, these guys were beasts. Guys, so now we're at the hotel and we're gonna party it up for Jen's birthday. Pretty tired, we got a couple bruises around here. But got that first place, feels good. Como esos, baby, me pongo travieso. Es que ese es el proceso perfecta, confieso. Pero eres más que. Happy birthday, baby. Arriba, abajo, para el centro, para el En mi cora, donde vas a estar? Por toda la vida, corazón. También en mi mente, un montón. Es que tienes un. En mi cora vas a estar un montón Lo sabes, Lo sabes mi amor Le dedico la luna a mi hermosa estrella Y no escuché lo que dicen pa' mí Eres bella Eres perfecta por fuera yeah. Y más perfecta por dentro yeah. Y no escuché lo que dicen pa' mí Interior, de eso se trata el amor. No existe la perfección. Y si lo he 